Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on integration part one. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and see how you go. Integration is used to find areas on the number plane. It can also be used to calculate volumes. So here we have a curve, y equals function x, and we have this shaded area. The shaded area has four boundaries. They are the curve y equals function x, the x-axis, the line x equals a, and the line x equals b. Using integration, we can calculate the shaded area. Integration is shown by the symbol, it's like an S sign. You'll quickly get used to it. The following is the convention used to find the area under the curve to the left. So the area under this curve, it's the integral sign, and the, the A and the B here means we're finding the area between those two lines, and also we have function X, because that's the curve that's involved. So basically we're finding the area between these two lines, the curve and the x-axis, and that's what all this means. Calculating areas under the x-axis gives a negative answer. In this case, we must remember to use absolute values, because basically we can't work with negative areas, so if we need to work out this area here, we just go through the normal procedure, but we must take absolute values, otherwise that will be a negative answer. The figure below shows the area between two curves. We use subtraction to calculate this area. So basically what we have here is this. This purple curve here, I've called it y equals function x. This orange curve here, y equals gx. So they're two functions. And in between them, we have this yellow area. So the area is from A to B. That's where the two curves intersect. And it's under the purple function and, and above the orange function. So the yellow area, here's our integral sign, from A to B and it's function x minus gx. Basically all that means is that we find this whole area here, all the area including this white part, minus gx, we substitute, sorry, we subtract this white area here. So after we find the area under y equals function x, which is the whole area, all of that, we subtract the white area here. That's what all this means. Example one, write an expression for the shaded area on the right under the given curve. So we're looking for this shaded area here. Now we've been given that the equation of this parabola is y equals x squared plus three. We know that the graph is is y equals x squared plus 3. We already know that. The shaded area is bounded by the graph, the x-axis, and those two lines. So the red shaded area is the integral sign between the numbers 1 and 3, from there to there, and that's the function that's involved. Example 2. Find an expression for the red shaded area. So we're looking for this one here. Now look carefully and you'll see that this area is bounded by this line, y equals 2x minus 5, by this parabola, y equals x squared minus 6x plus 10, and we're going between those two green lines. Now we have to work out what those x values are. In order to write down an expression for the shaded area, we need the two x values. So these are the two functions. So y equals that and y equals that. So we let those equal each other because they're both equal to y. We do some simplification. 
to arrive at this quadratic equation, we factorise and we can see that x is 3 or 5. 3 or 5. So there's 3 and there's 5. So basically they're the x values of the intersection. Hence, the red area, this area here, is we integrate under the straight line first and we take away the integral of the parabola. But what we can do to make our work easier, we can actually subtract these two functions here and just end up with this function, which is exactly the same. So we're finding the integral between 3 and 5 for that function and that will give us the shaded area because we've already subtracted the functions to find that shaded area there. Here's a quick quiz to help you. Please check through the video at any time. The answer to the puzzle, what is the meaning of the following? Play in the yard. I wonder if you got that. It can be a bit tricky, that one. Here are the answers to the quick quiz, and the video is at your disposal.